What's up guys, AVI back with another video today. Today I'm going to be showing you guys something that I've recently learned, uh, and it's how to change the background on your, your uh, Ford Sync system, in particular Sync 2. Um, and it should be pretty easy, so I'm gonna walk you guys through the steps. And yeah, it should uh, make your car a little bit more customized for your liking. So let's get to it, and I'll walk you guys through the steps. So the first thing that I did was found two pictures. Um, one that I've taken, I'm sure you guys have seen this on our title screen if you watch our videos, or end screen I should say, and another one I've just taken offline, which happens to be my desktop background. And I saved both of those pictures as uh, JPEG files. You can save them as different, different types of files, JPEG, GIF files, PNG files, BMP files, but I think JPEG is the most, uh, the, the one that's used most. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to click on one of these uh, JPEGs. We're going to go to Tools. I'm on Mac, uh, so Windows might be slightly different. Uh, we're going to go to Tools, and we're going to go to Adjust Size. Uh, we're going to go make sure that this is set to Pixels, Custom Pixels, and we're going to change this to 800 pixels. Oops, 800 pixels. Sorry, it's a little bit hard to do this and record at the same time. And then 384 for the height and width. So, and we have to uncheck scale proportionally so that it lets us do 800 pixels. So 800 for the width, 384 for the height. Resolution can stay as long as you uncheck the scale proportional. Pixels and all that is good. Um, also, if you're looking at the, the size, um, 100, 105 kilobytes, which is much smaller than the um, maximum size, which is 1.5 megabytes. So we're gonna select okay. That added, and I know it looks looks really strange now, but I think um, once we put it onto the, the sync system, it'll look much better. So we'll close out of that. We'll open up the second picture, which happens to be my background. We'll do the same thing. I'll show you guys once more. Tools, uh, adjust size, custom. We're gonna make this 800. And we are gonna uncheck scale proportional and make this 384 and select okay once again the size is, is plenty um, we'll have plenty of space so we're going to see um, now what we're going to do is these are both in a file that i just created called sync background you can create that in any file and you're going to plug in a flash drive which i already have pulled plugged in uh, we're going to open this flash drive i currently don't have any anything on this flash drive uh, but you can have flash things on the flash drive when you're importing uh, what we're going to do is Command A, and we're going to move these over to the flash drive folder. Um, Command A is just a, a highlight all, um, and so you can just do them all at once. And now we have the flash drive, and these two photos are on here. So now once these are on here, just confirm the sizes, less than 1.5 megabytes, and also they are in JPEG. Now I'll show you guys what to do when you get in the car. All right, now we're in the inside of the car. I have a 2015 Mustang, uh, so this will work also for 2015 Mustangs, obviously, and any uh, other Ford cards running Sync 2. Uh, Sync 2 basically looks like this. I believe in 2016 they upgraded to Sync 3. Uh, so this will not work for Sync 3, but for Sync 2, I'll show you guys. So we'll take that flash drive um, that we just stored those pictures on, find the USB slot, which for me is right, right below the power stop start button. And we don't need to start the car, uh, just get it into this um, power mode where the car's on but not uh, started. And we can go to settings, um, display, edit wallpaper, and this is where you can add pictures. So all of your added pictures will, will be up here on the left, uh, but obviously we don't have any, so we just have the default, which is uh, from Ford. Um, so what you're going to want to do is hit add. And this is what I was telling you guys earlier about the file size and the different formats that are able to use. There's the dimensions that I had you guys enter. Um, and as you can see, you could add 32 pictures. So we'll hit OK because we know all that information. This is the USB that um, is now plugged in down there. Just select USB 1. And these are the two photos, the only two photos on there. So you'll hit that. And it's saved. AVI lineup. And then you'll hit that one as well. And those are both now saved. So now what you want to do is go back here. Now these are all here. Uh, once again, the default, the AVI lineup, and the other um, Hennessy Mustang. So you select that, and that's how it looks. We'll hit save. Save as wallpaper. Now when we hit home, 
that is now the background um, for our sync system. So now every time you start the car, that'll be the background. So I think it's a really good way to customize your, your uh, Ford. Um, obviously we have the Lightning here, Dave Subaru and the Mustang, which we just uh, edited the wallpaper for. So it looks really cool. And as you saw, it was distorted when we saved it, but it looks perfectly fine um, right now. And, and the other one will look great too, but I'll just keep this one. So uh, let us know in the comments if you like this type of video, uh, kind of how-to videos and just like that, AVI out.